Billy Crawford. At an early age, he was discovered while dancing on top of a ledge in a bowling alley. He then became part of an afternoon show called That's Entertainment in the Philippines. He then had the name of Billy Joe, but he changed it recently to Billy Crawford. He moved back to the United States during his teenage years and started a career in music. Here, he is seen with the Ducati Scrambler. Ding Dong Dantes is a Filipino actor, television presenter, dancer, commercial model, and film producer who is currently working as an exclusive talent of GMA Network. He is also the founding chairman of the Yes Pinoy Foundation and manages his own film studio named Agosto Dos Pictures. He started his career as Konyo Kid in Yaki Torres in the youth-oriented show TGIS. In the picture is Ding Dong's Ducati Diabel. A Ducati 899 Panigale racer, Dominic began modeling and endorsing several companies before heading into acting. He was a model for Cosmopolitan Talents since 2008, where he modeled the Philippine clothing brand Pen Shop. On December 25, 2016, Rocket starred as Fabian in a horror thriller film entitled Secusion, which was an entry to the Metro Manila Film Festival. A member of the Brat Pack, Drew Aureliano is an avid motorcycle collector slash enthusiast. He has several big bikes on his stable, including a Honda CB1000 and his beautiful Ducati Scrambler. Eli Buendia is a Filipino musician, writer, and director who gained fame as a guitarist, songwriter, and of course, the lead vocalist of the popular Filipino rock band Eraserheads. He has also taken up motorcycling recently and is a proud owner of a custom Ducati Scrambler by STKD. Jericho Rosales also shared in a separate media interview that in riding a two-wheeled vehicle, being cautious is what he primarily keeps in mind. Freedom comes with responsibility. Check out his kick-ass Ducati Desert Sled. Kuya Kim once said in an interview, if you ask what bike is my favorite, I really don't have a favorite. Each bike has character. Each bike has personality. Each bike talks to you a certain way. That's the reason why I have so many bikes. He can be seen riding his Ducati Diabel in the busy streets of Metro Manila. Richard Gomez has been an avid motorcyclist for years, trying out both Japanese and European brands, mostly their top-of-the-line motorcycles. Then, there's the dude's clear passion for adventure bikes. In his Instagram feed, you'll find photos of a Ducati Multistrada which retails for about 1.3 million. Popular actor Richard Argotz Gutierrez is one of the three legit owners of a Ducati Pulse Mart here in the Philippines. According to Ducati Philippines, the 2003 model had a price range of 900,000 to 1 million pesos. A motocross rider at heart, Sam Milby also has a passion for street bikes. Expensive ones, that is. In his free time, we can obviously imagine Sam riding very handsome on his motorcycle while taking some fresh air around the town. Aside from a Yamaha R6, Sam was also seen rocking a Ducati Scrambler. TG Alberto is undoubtedly the one rider who truly put us on the motorcycling map. No contest there. In 2018, he rode in the Super Stock 1000 category. Although this is a national championship series in Italy, this is an all-high level as some of the riders in the World Super Stock and World Superbike competed in the CIV, including several MotoGP class riders. And it is also where other World Championship teams test and practice. This is uh, definitely a surreal experience for TJ as he had made the round through the European tracks with his dad, Ducati Philippines main man, Totti Alberto.